Get your wands out. It's back to the world of wizardry. J.K. Rowling has announced her Harry Potter play will be turned into a book as part of the Potter series. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Yes, yes, you heard it right. Potter fans around the world can rejoice. There is officially an eighth book installment of the magical series being released this year following the launch of the Harry Potter play in London. The special rehearsal version of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child will be based on the play and follow Harry and his son Albus' struggle to live up to their family legacy. Mark your calendars, the book hits shelves July 31st. Let's finish this the way we started. Together! Okay, guys, right here. The cast of HBO's upcoming show Vinyl walked the red carpet at the TIFF light box last night. The 1970s period drama follows a record executive trying to resurrect his label. Our Terry Hart caught up with lead actor Bobby Cannavale at last night's premiere to talk about how important the music scene was back then for artists now. It is an important time for some of the music that we love today, a lot of the music that we love today, a lot of the music that we listen to today that was influenced by this, this time in history. Vinyl premieres Sunday at 9 p.m. Beyonce's controversial Super Bowl halftime show still making headlines. A protest is now being planned outside the NFL headquarters next week. The group says they believe that Queen Bey pulled a race-baiting stunt and that her performance was a slap in the face to law enforcement. They aren't the only ones who disagree with Bay's show. Former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani has also spoken out, saying the halftime show was outrageous. <sighs> Over to Tanya Kim in L.A. now, who is taking a look at our Canadian contender for one of the Grammy's biggest awards. Hey, that's right, Adam. The countdown is on. Music's biggest night is only days away, and it's all going down right inside there. Now, over the past few days, Entertainment City has been taking a look at this year's top Grammy nominees and their chances of winning. Well, today we look at The weekend, who's up for seven, including record and album of the year. And here's why we think he should win. Can't Feel My Face was the song of the summer. Both Rolling Stone and Billboard ranked it as the best song of 2015. It has to be considered a front runner for record of the year, and he followed that smash up with another number one hit. The Hills replaced Can't Feel My Face at the top of the Billboard charts. He was the first artist to have back-to-back -back number ones since Taylor Swift. Or how about the week of July 25th, when The Weeknd held down all of the top three spots on Billboard's Hot R&B chart? He was the first artist in history to earn that distinction. So you want commercial success? Check. You want critical success? Check that off too. So is it so unthinkable to see the weekend winning album of the year? And you deserve it, the way you work it. Alrighty, you'll have to tune in on Monday to find out if the Grammys will belong to the weekend. Be sure to catch the show only on City. Right after Entertainment City takes you live on the red carpet, it is going to be hot. From the Staples Center in Los Angeles, sending it over to you, Adam. Thank you, TK. And remember, you can get your entertainment news first here every single morning and all day on Twitter at NCity.